Hello and welcome to another Arkeys video and to a new 2 million credit time trial challenge on Gran Turismo 7. This time we are at Autopolis, the full circuit, and we are free to pick any Group 4 car we like and we are on the racing hard tires. This is my slightly extended first impressions video. First I did an hour, tried a few different cars, then I had a short break, had a look at a leaderboard replay and then I went for a further improvement. And uh, before we get going, if this is your first time watching and you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit both the like and subscribe button. It is highly appreciated. Now let's get on with this challenge. As usual, I have jumped on straight from when the time trial went live. We are jumping in. We are also picking up a prize for the previous time trial. And uh, we have to pick a car. I decide to go with the Diag. And I will use this first very slow and shaky lap to distract you with some brake markers. My first brake marker is actually the orange barrier, but I look at the 100 board before the orange barrier have to account for those slow reaction times. You can see I break too late on this very first attempt. On this second corner, this is an easy one. You've got both the orange barrier and you also got a small uh, tarmac passageway on the left hand side. Now we are making our way around these corners and sort of at the middle of that curb on the right hand side, that's where I break for the hairpin. I couldn't really find anything else for that one. And uh, yeah, we are crawling our way around. Just ignore my driving. Just look at all the fancy red arrows. Here I use this curb to lift off and swing the car over. And then you have to be patient. Look out for that uh, Marshall box there. That's your cue to get fully on the power. If you get the line right, you can carry a lot of speed. If you get it wrong, you will run off the track. And here I am braking just after that arrow. This time I'm braking a tiny bit early. So you can see I am slow around the hairpin. We will fix that later. Here I'm looking for that post on the right hand side. I am braking before that leaves the screen. Otherwise I run wide on these hard tires. And uh, this is all about keeping it tight into this first part of these corners. Otherwise you will run wide as I do and that will compromise the entire section of corners here. You can really both gain and lose a lot of time here. And uh, just be careful, we are coming over a slight crest there, lifting off, coming around this corner. And uh, also for this final long right-hander, make sure you don't run wide, keep it tight. And uh, this tarmac strip, this is a good acceleration marker. Titsny has been using that for ages in his lap guides as well. We are going to go across the line in a slow time, but at least we are on the move now. We just continue on the following lap. I think we are doing a slightly better job through turn one, still rather slow, but we are gaining time. And uh, also through this corner, mm, a bit clumsy. And uh, here I am missing all sorts of apexes. That's one and that's two. And finally, the third apex around the hairpin. So definitely a lot of time to gain there. Uh, also an awful line through here. I am not being patient enough and I have to lift off at the end of the exit. And that's where you really lose some speed. I'm braking a bit later this time for this hairpin. So we are gaining some time back now. But as we come into this corner, I throw it all away again as I accidentally end up on the grass going full Colin McRae mode, full sideways. But we managed to survive it and uh, somehow we haven't lost all time yet and we are coming around the final corners. And we are also going to go across the line. I cannot remember the time. It's going to be a 157.215 and we carry on. I am improving in turn one a bit more once again. So uh, we are coming around and we are also finding some apexes this time. We completely missed all three of them that last time. So this is definitely going to help our time as well. And uh, no Colin McRae this time. We managed to keep it together through that corner. It can be a tricky one. You're coming downhill and it's easy to unsettle the car when you're coming back onto the power. Uh, we are coming through these corners, just trying to straight line them, keep it cool. 
uh, let the car coast around here up over this slight crest. You can see the car can get a bit sideways, especially this uh, Jaguar. And now we are coming around the final corners, getting the car slowed down, seeking towards the inside, looking for the tarmac strip, getting back on the power. And uh, not as good as last time, but still up on our time, we are coming across the line in a 155.866. And on the following lap, I was down a bit on my time, but I got a slightly better line out of this corner. So now you can see the time is creeping down again. Also a slightly better run through the final corners compared to the previous lap, getting nicely back onto the power. And let's get across the line. And this time it will be a 155.538. And uh, then I ran out of talent for this first run. I am running wide and uh, the car spins around. So this was my first nine minutes. I am going to change to the Ferrari now. And uh, I think I have been driving a bit already, but now we're coming into turn one, down to second gear and just rev out second gear. No short shifting in this one. And uh, coming into this corner. It feels like the Ferrari, it's uh, rotating slightly better, but it still has some understeer when you are getting on the power in some of the uh, faster corners. Uh, let's see, up to second gear out of the hairpin, not the best job on that one. Now we are lifting off at that uh, curb there, down to third gear and up to fourth gear. I think, yeah, this is okay for now. We are braking slightly after that second arrow, a bit wide, but we managed to get the car rotated so we can get an okay run out of there. And can we keep the car in check? Um, hmm, it's okay. Now up the hill, keep the car tight to the inside so you don't get too far to the left-hand side because you need the room to swing back over to the left-hand side through this corner. And uh, coming over a hill, you need to get the car slowed down a bit earlier than you might think, otherwise you'll just go off the track under the bridge, just lifting off, coming around towards the final corners, uh, making sure to get a sort of wide entry so you can bring the car towards the inside. If you get the angle wrong and try to slow down the car, uh, you will just run wide. We are getting across the line in a 154.832. And uh, we are trying to keep it going, coming around turn one. We are up on our time. How about this turn two? We are still doing okay. Now through this twisty section coming up towards the hairpin. And this time around, I am a bit more patient on the exit of the hairpin. So I'm getting a better line out of there in second gear. You can see it's certainly helping on my uh, delta time there. and. Uh, Briefly, I reactivate the lawnmower plug-in, uh, but we managed to survive, but the, the time certainly suffered from that one. Uh, but I still managed to keep it together, also for a slight improvement as we're coming around the final corners. We are going to go across the line in a 154.682. And uh, then I am running wide here and I decide to just jump out and have a look. So at this point, we had been on it for 25 minutes and uh, I got a bit indecisive which car to choose. I jumped back into the Jaguar that felt like a solid car. I could also see the Supra uh, rapidly climbing up the leaderboard, but P1 was still in the Ferrari. So I uh, jumped back into that one and spent some time getting used to that after jumping back and forth. And we are coming into turn one. And uh, as you are coming slightly downhill, you have to aim for the inside rather early. If you are turning in too late, you have to struggle that downhill part of the corner as well. So just be aware of that. We are coming around these corners up towards the hairpin. Can I be patient on the throttle this time? Up to second gear? No, not really uh, as patient as I would like to be, but yeah. Room for improvement as always coming around this long left-hander looking for the martial box getting on the power. That is okay for now. Now towards the hairpin, trying to get the car turned before uh, exiting the corner so you can straight line exit out of that one. I am going to miss the apex here, probably too high a gear. So that was definitely awful. This is not going to be a big improvement, that's for sure. 
we are coming up the hill and now we are coming around the final corners and we are going to go across the line with a small improvement at 154.533 and uh, I am losing focus and I missed this corner completely so we are jumping out to have a look and we've only got nine minutes left of the first hour let's see if we can do something before that last bit of the first hour is up we're coming through turn one just be careful coming on the throttle as you are still coming downhill and it can be a bit tricky turn two not that big of an issue now through this twisty bit adjusting the angle of the car with the throttle trying to find both apexes but i'm breaking a bit too early into the hairpin so i lose that momentum I need to rotate the car and it gets a bit awkward around that hairpin and you can see the ghost is clearly pulling away but we are coming through this left hander looking for the Marshall box and we managed to be able to just stay on the power out of there now we are coming up towards the hairpin the second hairpin on this track and uh, can we get on the power if you are on that inside curb be careful when you get back on the power because you can spin the car uh, through that corner we do survive keep it tight to the right hand side and we straight line this as much as possible make sure to brake before you get to that curb because it's easy to run wide here because of the way the track runs uh, over that hill now around these final corners and uh, as I come up towards this long right-hander make sure to get the car pointed the right direction so you are able to slow the car down and bring it towards the inside looking for the tarmac strip and we are going to go across the line in a 154.444 so that's where my first hour ended we are parking the car but we are not done yet because I decide to go on a bit further, but I need a cup of coffee, I need some breakfast, and then I need to see what the fastest time, which was Titsny at the time I did this, uh, what he was doing on his lap. So now we are coming in towards turn one, using the orange barrier, down to second gear for a short moment, up to third gear on the exit. Uh, the Supra can be a bit uh, lively, but uh, it seems to be a good car for this combination. Now braking at that orange barrier again, down to third gear and uh, staying in third gear all the way around these corners, finding both apexes of course. And uh, down to second gear, no first gear, just second gear also on the exit. And uh, up to third gear and I think we are yeah we're going up to fourth gear staying in fourth gear lifting off waiting for the Marshall box getting fully back onto the power and now we are coming up towards the next hairpin breaking roughly after that uh, middle arrow board and uh, down to second gear no first gear I presume first gear is uh, really short in this car um, so second gear is plenty now coming into this uh, tricky right-hander uh, just using fourth gear letting the car coast around the corner and as Tisney is about to finish this lap in style let me just mention that doing an actual recording of a leaderboard replay can be very helpful if you like me have a memory like a goldfish and cannot remember from one second to another which gear to use for the corners and so on because you have much easier access to your photo and video library on the playstation than you have to the actual replays where you have to back out of your own time trial session completely to have a look at the replay so that was just a small tip for you there Tisney is going across the line, now it's my turn, this will be no issue whatsoever. Dear, hold him beer. Now we see who swing the fastest gun. Well, maybe not as easy as that, because several laps later we were still on it, but we are about to get our first improvement since our last time. And hang on, because it's going to be a big one, sort of. But either way, this following lap is actually uh, our best attempt so far. No interruptions on this lap. Coming into turn one, orange barrier, down to second gear for a bit of rotation, up to third gear on the exit. The Supra can be a bit of a lively car, but it has some nice rotation and doesn't have the same understeer as the Ferrari has. Breaking at the orange barrier again, down to third gear, letting the car coast through 
carefully getting back onto the power, also just adjusting the angle with the throttle. Uh, missed an apex slightly there and uh, keeping it tight. I'm actually down to first gear, not really necessary. Now you can see the ghost is running away. This is not going to be a good sector, but we are coming around this long corner. Just be patient. There's the Marshall box. Get back on the power coming up the hill. Now the Delta is uh, coming down again and uh, coming up towards the hairpin, looking for the middle arrow board, breaking slightly after that one, coming into this hairpin, second gear, careful on the power. Now we are coming down towards this tricky right-hander. And uh, as we are braking, I am just letting the car coast and that downshift gives some nice rotation into that corner. Now just keeping it tight to the right-hand side, trying to get as straight a line as possible, not run too far to the left and uh, be sure to brake early enough coming over that hill, just staying in third gear. Also be careful, the car can be a bit twitchy coming over that curb. And now for the final corner, just making sure to get the car pointed towards the inside so you can scrape off some speed, get back onto the power. Uh, this really feels good when you get it sort of right. And now we are coming across the line in a 154.184. And my optimum time was getting close to getting into the 153s. So I think it should be possible for me with some cleaning up to get into the 153s. This was what I could do within two hours, including a breakfast and coffee break along the way. And uh, I suspect that the top times are in to the 152s. Now I didn't check before doing this commentary. Uh, I will get back to this. This is a fun time trial. I think I will try some different cars as well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining, maybe even somewhat useful. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.